Welcome to the Koyang booth here at InternetCon Japan. Uh, I'm joined by JD Shin, who's the Director of Overseas Sales and Support. Welcome, JD. Hello, nice to meet you. Okay, likewise. Now, we've got a couple of um, small uh, improvements here to your Zenith and your SPI machine uh, right. this week. Um, until now, they've, you know, they've been very good at, at uh, going down to the small 01005s, right. uh, but you've taken it one step further right. and you're now doing the 0201 metrics. Right. That's incredible. Right. Yeah, so, um, you know, these days the, um, the cell phone side is getting smaller and smaller and people um, request better battery life. In order to deliver that kind of solution, uh, some of the mo mobile phone manufacturers, they are now looking into the smaller size of components. Right. So some of the Japanese manufacturers, they already announced an 0201 matrix component, which is really small, mm. really small. Yeah, no. yeah so um, in order to support that kind of development from the uh, Japanese uh, component manufacturer, we already delivered the solution to that company. And they actually, they are using our machine in order to finish their development for the 0201 right. you know, component manufacturing. Incredible. Now, it's important to mention that, that I don't think anybody's really using the 0201 metric yet in production, but it, this is something that is definitely specified in coming down. Right, right. No, I think you know, within a year or two, we'll be able to see some um, companies are uh, actually using 0201 components in their PCB. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's incredible. So, you're able to do that on your Zenith uh, 3D AOI system. What about your SPI? Yeah, both of machines. So it's a, the, in order to deal with the very small components, it's actually a matter of the um, pixel size. So by changing the the pixel resolution, of course, it also requires some technology. So we are actually having the machine up to down to five micrometer resolution. So using that machine, you can um, measure up to O2O metric without it, without any problem. Okay. So excellent. Okay. So big development there on component size that you're able to measure down to. You've also got another machine on the booth here today that has got an increased uh, ability to measure tall components. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, that's correct. So um, our um, existing machine here, the Genesis machine, is actually measuring up to uh, 10 millimeter. Mm -hmm. But some of the component, some of the uh, PCB manufacturer, for example, um, server board manufacturer, they have a lot of you know tall components, which also requires the coplanarity uh, inspection. So in order to um, manage those kind of situations, we actually have a new machine over there, which is equipped with a 9-way um, projector. So the additional one projector is helping us to measure um, up to 25 millimeter without sacrificing any height accuracy. That's excellent, good. So are, we, are you still uh, finding customers having a as many problems with um, board warpage and things like that because it used to be 10 years ago it was a big problem that, that uh, the, manuf the PCB manufacturers weren't baking the, the boards long enough and you were getting a lot of defective boards. Is that still the case? Yeah, so um, PCB warpage is actually generating two different types of problems. One is the three-dimensional problem. So because of the warp, you know, the object can look bigger or smaller or you can have the two-dimensional problem called uh, shrinkage or stretch. Okay. Yeah, so ironically, you know, peop people have perception about the, uh, some idea about the 2D AI system because two everybody thinks that 2D can inspect the offset or area without any problem. But if you have, you know, shrinkage or stretch, even your offset measurement becomes meaningless. Right. So without solving the um, Warpage problem in three-dimensional no, and two-dimensional ways. If you try to measure something, you know you will find that the measurement data becomes um, non-trustworthy. Right. Yeah. So you really need that z-height information to be able to fully uh, uh, compute it. Really. Correct. So um, as I explained, um, three-dimensional problem can be solved by maintaining the automatic g-tracking. However, stretch or shrinkage cannot be solved by the G tracking. Right. Yeah, because it is coming from the the actual shrinkage of the board. Mm -hmm. And in order to solve that problem, we have a special technology called pet referencing. Mm -hmm. So the reason why we are using the terminology called pet referencing is because pet referencing is a little bit different from the offset. Right. 
So pet referencing is described in the IPC 610 standard. Yeah, so we really want to measure an offset from the pad, not from the gobble file. Right, okay, so, you, so you're actually doing, you're using the data or the specification from IPC, right. comparing it against what you're measuring it off the pad and seeing if it meets the plus or minus 50% right. or, or whatever the criteria is. Right, right, right. So in order to um, use the pad location as a reference, you need a special technology. So, you know, we are using a special light called, you know, infrared. Not only the RGB, you also use the IR, IR light. So by using IR light, you can actually see through the copper layer. So using this copper layer, you know, you can compensate your uh, shrinkage or stretch locally. So that means there are a lot of um, points or features on the boards you can use in order to compensate the local shrinkage or stretch. That is quite unique technology of Goyang. Mm. And a lot of you know, uh, customer who is manufacturing large size of the boards are happy with our solution. Yeah, absolutely. I think metrology going forward is going to be, uh, you know, in high, high quality metrology right. uh, and reliable metrology is going to be very much key to the future of the industry and right. all this industry 4.0. That's correct. So, um, Inders 4.0 is actually about uh, um, talking between the machine in order to um, make the process more automatic. Yeah. Yeah, so, in order to do that, we believe um, people need the measurement data. Otherwise, if just the inspection machine is talking about go, no, go, then there's no room for you to optimize your process. So you'd like to, yes, of course, you'd like to detect the defects, but it's much better for you to uh, defect from happening. Mm -hmm. That's the key right. in order to move forward to the industry 4.0. So we have, you know, SPI and AOI, and for the printing process and the pick and place and reflow oven, we have all the 3D measurement data. So using the 3D measurement data, you know, we, we are actually on the better position because we, we know what is going on in the SMT lines. So using all this information, we can help the customers to optimize their process. I think that is the real the industry 4.0, so automatic process. Uh, well, absolutely, but you know, you, you've then got to, as we said before we started the uh, off camera, we, you really have to start uh, working with some of the other manufacturers or printers in this type of thing so that you can start to get closed loop auto correction in this type of uh, performance. Yes, correct. So we have been working with the major suppliers, the um, pick and place and the screen, print, screen printers. And then um, um, at this moment in time, the, for example, the, the closed loop between the um, SPI and the printer is just about the offset or theta and wiping frequency. Yeah. But there are actually a lot of things we can do together. So by delivering more information to the printer side, we can really uh, automatically optimize their um, skid speed or pressure. So that discussion is ongoing between Goyang and other major suppliers. Well, I'm, you know, I'm not surprised to hear that at all because uh, it's definitely the thing that's driving the, the industry this, uh, this, this at the moment. So, uh, uh, JD, I want to thank you very much for uh, joining us today and uh, telling us about the, the exciting new uh, developments here at, at Koyang. Uh, and we look forward to talking to you again in the future. Okay, thank you very much for your time as well.